a bit further. Follow me. We will. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. So. Here's the spot. This could go horribly wrong, but I hope not. Because we're gonna attempt to uh, Chose a lovely spot. lift the curse. Damn it, will you relent? By plowing now I've done wrong. Good. Yeah, indeed. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botch things on the prowl. Yep. And there it is. Look. So believe it or not, this is the friendly version of the botchling. Okay, let's try this. Take it in your arms, quick. And if it goes Garrett, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets very restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. So, that's a really important one I Pick can use Take actually to calm the watchman down. And it starts to wriggle in the Baron's arms. The merciful gods! Hi, Daddy. Oh, God. So. Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. So, just quickly attached some spectre oil to my sword. Because we're gonna face some nasties in a second. Still have Axie. So now... Spectres. Botchling sent a trap. Do something! So again, as with all raids... Be incredibly aggressive. So now, once the fight is over, you need to cast Axie on the Baron and the Botchling because otherwise this will end very badly. But, but what do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. So keep Quen up just in case the rates start going at it again. I think it's around here that he'll start wriggling again. So they're apparently attacking the horse. Okay. I think it might be time for a swallow. So again, all the rates are down. Last taxi. Stopped. So we're almost back at the threshold, so. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's. It's a girl. What would Anna have named her? Well, think about it, man. It's 
just a name. Get on with it. So I think that's about it. We are where we need to be. And everything went pretty fine. What now? Look what a cutie. By the powers of earth and sky. By the powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. There it goes. Good. Now bury the body. Always get a bit teary eyed when that happens. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. So. I think I can do that immediately. Oh, never mind. I just had to touch it and it, uh... Wait it automatically. By blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Now we'll see if it has worked. And indeed Lead me it to those has. bound to you by blood. So that lovely thing is a lubberkin. Now we just need to follow it to wherever it takes us. And there goes the second one. Let's follow this little guy further where we need to go. And let's hope he guides us to where Anna and Tamara are. There were a lot of A's. Okay. Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. Let's loot around. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. So they stopped around what here. They, they change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. And Wants to else? show me something more. Yeah, the fact that there's stuff in the woods here. 
Oh great, and Dragos. Was uh, surprising. Didn't expect those here. It does give me some uh, some loot, some more lesser blue mutagens. Fly straight, you drunken ghost. Uh oh. How you like that so Just had a field day. Still worth a closer look. So rock fiends start to explode when they're almost dead, so get away from those when that happens. He's almost down. And there he goes. Should examine that horse carcass. Okay. That was more trouble than that was worth, but... So, rot fiends are... Uh... Annoying little bastards, not not as difficult as drowners in my opinion, but uh, you have to be careful. They're filled with death gas, as the, as the in-game glossary also mentions. And when they're almost dead, the gas starts to uh, build up and explode. And there we go, it's the last one. Let's check out the horse carcass. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Gross. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Probably. Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. So, something really big attacked this horse. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. See if I didn't miss anything. Apparently not. Okay, let's continue following it. So after a few more wolves dispatched, we get to this uh, fishing house. And the leprechaun tells us to uh, investigate. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. And so we will. Hello. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need hmm. information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure. Not even passing through. Daughter's medium height. About 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? <laughs> Quiet, boy! Too late. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. 
Though uh -oh. anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I means. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. I did. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, poor like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we sets off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Fiery marks as that one. It's a triangle with a whirly thingy. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. True that. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Okay. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. So Anna is still missing. What marks? These well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand? Aye. No, these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire. Okay. I guess we can't ask more of this man. Goodbye, sir. Thanks for your help. The lady... She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Oh, you shouldn't be standing on your seat like that. Okay, never mind. Goodbye. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Goodbye! And level six. Well, that's nice now, isn't it? Let's see about that immediately. So, we opened up a fourth slot. So, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna start with the Melt Armor perk just because there are more levels in that, so I uh, I can wait for the next slot to open up and then I'll go into Irden a bit more to increase the duration. So, Igni Melt Armor and place it in the open slot. There we go. So another neat ability now, uh, my Igni Strikes will negate, uh, will make me make my next attacks negate 15% of the armor of my opponent. So I'm going to do a quick meditation to restock and then I'm going to take a break. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. In the next one we'll talk to the Baron about his family. So if you like this episode don't forget to like this video 
and subscribe on my channel for more. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.